<laughs> While Puff Adder sheds his skin. Jambo Monkey! It's Puff Adder! Oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But you see, there was a time when Puff Adder didn't shed his skin. He was very difficult to see. And he had a nasty bite. I only bite if some beast steps on me or frightens me, monkey. But you're so hard to see. Mm. That's not my fault. Jambo birds, Habari, how are you? <gasps> Have a nice day, birds. Oh, well. Ah, poor Pafada. All he wanted was a friend. But all the animals were scared of him because of his bite. Tickbo, <laughs> <laughs> you're tickling me. Keep staying, Hippo. Jambo, Hippo. Jambo, Tickbird. <gasps> it's Puff Adda. To the water, quick. Run, everybody, run. Run. I saw him he's wiggling right this way. He's so difficult to see, but he's not gonna bite me. I what did you him. see? Huh? Who's not gonna bite you? I saw him. I know I did. Oh, Hiboko, Hippo, what, is it? what are you talking about? <laughs> Good day, everyone. <gasps> oh, now stay calm, everyone. Stay calm. <gasps> Good morning, Papada. You gave us quite a surprise. I just thought I'd say hello. Lovely day, isn't it? Back away, everyone. Back away. Yes, it is. It's a lovely day. Oh. Lion! Lion! Not now, Hippo. That's it. Nice and easy. Just back away. Ah! Elephant! Jambo! Been up to anything lately? No, I haven't been up to anything. I'm a good elephant. I haven't been up to anything at all. Oh. Tortoise, help me. I don't know what to do. Try lifting up your foot. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, ah, Tortoise. There you are, old friend. How's Tinga Tinga been treating you? Oh, hello, Papada. Well, um, yes, uh, things have been okay. The thing is, Puff Adder, Lion. we would all like to stop and chat. Lion! No, don't! It's, it's just that... Oh. 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 Uh. Mm -hmm. Oops, are you all right? Uh, yes. Come on. Let me help you out of there. No, 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 thank you. No, 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 thank you. Oh, you don't want to be friends with me, do you? Well, uh, um, it's not that we don't want to be friends with you, Pafada. It's just that you bite. Mm -hmm. oh, but I only bite if someone steps on me or frightens me. But I step on everyone, don't I, Tortoise? Ah, uh, no. Just me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bite anyone. But you're so difficult to see. Quite so. May I make a suggestion? Please do, Tortoise. Please do. Perhaps if Puff Adda gave his skin a really good wash and polish, then we would spot him more easily and we wouldn't step on him. Very good idea, Tortoise. Puff Adder? It's no good. I've tried. My skin is too faded and too old. Sorry, Sorry Puff Adder. Puff Adder. Sorry. Well, if nobody wants to be my friend, then I shall wiggle on. Oh, oh poor Puff, Puff Adder. I'm the snake who animals fear. No one wants to be near. Oh, no, Puff Adder. Best be alone. Best to be alone. Who wants a friend? Oh, who needs a friend? <gasps> oh, Puff Edda. It's best to be alone. Who wants a friend? It's Puff Edda. Who <laughs> needs a friend? It's best <gasps> to be alone. It's best to be alone. Who wants a friend? Who needs a friend? Mm. <sighs> right, that's it. I am never, ever going to be friendly again. Never. Absolutely no one around. I can curl up and not be friendly to anyone ever again. Perfect. 
being unfriendly really makes you sleepy. Another beautiful day in the desert. <laughs> oh, I think I will just sit and rest my bottom right here. But first, I need a nice big scratch. Ah, that's better. <laughs> now, here we go. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, that's better. Now, I'm ready to sit down right here. <laughs> Something has bit me. Something has bit me on the bottom. Well, what do you expect? You sat on me. But I didn't see you. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, oh, you naughty animal, that's not very friendly. I'm trying not to be friendly. Well, that's not very nice. I don't want to be nice. I bet you don't have many friends. I don't want any friends. Every animal wants friends. Well, I don't. Every animal needs friends. Not this one, Humpy. You've got to have... Camel, watch out. Ooh. Puffadder? Puffadder? Where are you? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, let me help you. No, I don't want any help. I told you, I don't want any friends. Oh, you can't stay like that. Oh, yes, I can. Like this, I won't bother any animal ever again. Oh. But you can't give up. You're Puffadder. Where's your wiggle? Where's your squiggle? Squashed underneath this rock. But you must wiggle and squiggle. That's what you do. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Are you a wiggly Puffadder or no? <laughs> OK. I'm a wiggly puff adder. <laughs> and are you squiggly? Yes, I'm a squiggly puff adder too. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, come on. Let's wiggle it up. And a wiggle it down. <laughs> you look funny wiggling. That's because I am a camel. Oh, oh, now, come on, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle. Ooh, wiggle. That is it. That is. Now you have the wiggle. Just put in the squiggle. Ooh, squiggle. <laughs> wiggle. Squiggle. <laughs> oh, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! You had the... Whoa! whoa. Puffadder, look at you! You are all bright and colorful! Really? Yes, you have the brightest spots in Tinga Tinga! Aha! Am I easy to see? Easy to see? It's impossible not to see you! <laughs> Puffadder! Is that you? A brand new me. Well, no one's going to step on you anymore. I know, I know. Will you tell all the animals? You bet your spots I will. <laughs> <laughs> animals, big news, big news. No beast is ever going to step on Puff Adder again. Big news. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Puff Adder. Uh, Friends? Only if you promise not to step on me. Well, how could I with those bright, bright colours? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> friends, then. Yes, friends. <sighs> and that is why Puffadder sheds his skin. From that day on, all the animals could spot him from miles and miles and miles. <laughs> you know, I do really like being friendly. Every animal needs friends. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Camel and his hump. 
Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Why Warthog is so ugly. <laughs> You see, Warthog wasn't always ugly. Oh no, he wasn't bad looking at all. <laughs> Jambo birds. In fact, he was annoyingly good looking. The water's lovely and cool just here. Flamingo, come on and try it. <laughs> Jambo ladies. Hmm. Chop chop. Say Jambo back to the most handsome hog in Tinga Tinga. <laughs> Jambo Warthog. <laughs> Are you a little hot today, Flamingo? No, Warthog. Why? Oh, no reason. You just look a little pink. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Warthog was rude. Rude about every beast. Don't let him ruffle your feathers. Excuse me, Warthog, but we were having a conversation. Well, today's your lucky day, because now I'm going to join you. Come on, bunch oh, of... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hippo, your hindquarters are humongous. Well, I never... How rude, how rude. Oh. Well, I'm oh. going to stand in the cool water, too, and there just isn't room. Good. I ain't never seen a rump that size. What? Cheek. And if I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Hippo. Horrible hog. <laughs> Silly hen, leaving her eggs lying about. <laughs> I don't know what you laughing about with that ugly face of yours. Hmm? What did you say? Well, you have to admit, you're not the prettiest beast in the bush. Huh? I mean, leopard knot spots off of you. <laughs> your teeth are all crooked. Look at your back legs. They're all short and stumpy and about to run, Warthog. Run! Whoa! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Go! Go! Hide in your burrow, you horrible hog. But I'll get you. Just you wait. <laughs> Never, you ugly muggly. <laughs> oh. hmm. I'm not an ugly muggly. Ah, <laughs> no ugly hyena. And a lovely day to feed my beautiful face. And what better to feed my face than truffles? So good for the skin and my handsome looks. Not that you can get much better looking than me. <laughs> Ooh. Watch where you're truffling, Warthog. And where, tortoise? Are you rushing off to? I'm heading for the acacia tree. I thought I'd start out early. Hare says there are some juicy lettuces there. Well, chap, chap, you better hurry. Even the snails would have gotten there by the time you get there. <laughs> no need to be so rude. You know what Owl always says? Good things come to those who wait. Well, lucky old lettuce, then. <laughs> Such a rude hog. There'll be trouble. Oh, morning, mm. porcupine. Oh, Jumbo tortoise. Are you all right? I've been up all night trying to find food. I'm so tired. I can hardly lift my quills. Look. Uh, oh, I'm shattered. You need to hold up for a bit. Get your strength back. Whew, I'm such a long way from my hole. Why not rest in Warthog's burrow? But where is Warthog? That rude hog has gone out looking for truffles. He won't even know. <laughs> Thank you, Tortoise. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, stop that! 
Stop it! Truffles! Truffles! I'm telling Owl! 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 Oh! Oh! I! Stop it, Warthog! Stop it! Why? I've been up all night, and we all need our beauty sleep, you know. Some more than most. And you, Owl, look very old and tired today. <gasps> oh, be careful, Warthog. Beauty is only skin deep. Hmm. Oh, 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 Warthog, Warthog! Oh. Giddy! Warthog! Woo. Good day, Your Majesty. My, you look messy. What happened to your mane? Did you get all tangled in the bush? You know, kings can't prowl around looking like that. What would the other animals think? Ngiri. Now, if I were king or tinga tinga, I would... Uh, warthog? No beast talks to lion in such a manner. In fact, no beast should be insulted in such a way. You are a very, very rude hog. I w w was just saying, if I was king or tinga tinga, but I But you would... are not. And enough is enough. Oh! Who's the king? Come here, Warthog. I can teach you, Warthog. <laughs> Not so handsome from behind, Warthog. Who's the king now? You are! You are! Ooh. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. 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 I'll get you! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. Warthog? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, Warthog. Pole, you gave me such a fright. You see, Toto said you were out. And I fell asleep. Is Warthog's face going rather pink? Or am I just imagining it? <laughs> what is going on? Why is nobody helping Warthog? But he was horrid. Horrid to everybody. <laughs> well, that's not nice. But Wutok cannot stay like this. Ah. Owl, won't you help? Apparently, I'm too tired and I'm too old. Sounds like you've been upsetting oh. everyone, Wutok. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. ah. Ugly muggly now. <laughs> mm. Mm. My face is all big and swollen. But at least it's not as big as my bottom, huh? <laughs> it's for the holes. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, the swelling would never go down. Hmm. If I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> I'm just plain ugly. What did you say, Owl? Beauty is only skin deep, Lion. Beauty is only skin deep. As ever, extremely wise words. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> and that is why Warthog is ugly. His good looks never came back. <gasps> he just got uglier and grumpier. <gasps> Sorry, Warthog, forgive me. <sighs> <sighs> and from that day on, Warthog always entered his barrel bottom first. Just in case Porcupine was down there. Sorry, Warthog. I didn't mean it. 
and Porcupine and her quills? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Why eagle rules the skies? <laughs> but you see, there was a time when no beast ruled the skies, and it was becoming a bit of a problem. My axe! Huh? My axe. Oh, what is it? Oh, my axe! What? Just calm down. Now, hand what do they look like? My axe! <gasps> Hand's nest! And it's empty! My axe! You can see all that way? That's amazing! <laughs> well, they don't call me eagle eyes for nothing. Come on! Wait for me! My axe! My axe! My axe! Calm down, everyone. Now, Hen, where did you last see your eggs? In my nest, where I laid them. Uh -uh. They're not there. What am I going to do? Don't worry, Hen. We'll find your eggs in the morning, as soon as it's light. I'll find your eggs. Oh, I do hope so, Eagle. Thank you. Now, everyone, to sleep. Birds, lullaby, please. A one and a two and a three and a four. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle, I've lost my hum. You poor bird. Try again. What is happening up there? Why is Hummingbird not humming? That lion, I've lost my hum. <clears throat> hummingbird has lost her hum. Lost her hum? But that's what Hummingbird does. It's nature's way. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Don't worry, Hummingbird. I'll find your hum. And hen's eggs. Now, where can they be? <gasps> your Majesty! Your Majesty! Something else has gone missing. What is it? Tickbird! Tickbird? I was with her in the morning, and then I went for a little swim, and when I surfaced, she was gone. Oh, no! Have you looked for her? All day long, but I can't find her. <gasps> She's so tiny, she could be anywhere. Now calm down, everyone. Hippo, we will find Tickbird, don't you worry. Oh, sorry about that. What is it with these birds? It's impossible to watch over them all. It's the wings thing, Your Majesty. Very hard to watch you over them when they keep flying all over the place. First hen loses her eggs, then hummingbird loses her hum, and now tickbird. What can I do? Hmm. May I make a suggestion, Your Majesty? Please do, Tortoise. What a very good idea. Wanyama! Animals! Yes, yes Your yes, Majesty. Yes, yes. We have a bird crisis in Tinga Tinga, and here is what I propose. Mm -hmm. I challenge any animal, bird or beast, to find hen's eggs, hummingbird's hum, and to find little tick bird. And the first animal to find all three will be given half of my kingdom. Lion! You cannot be serious! Oh, but I am! Half my kingdom! Do you hear? Oh, oh my goodness! So yeah. let the challenge begin! Let's go! Okay. 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 Night animals, huh? Let's get a head start and start searching! Let's search! Be quick! Come right, on, off we go! <laughs> Where can hen's eggs be? And that poor little tick bird. Hmm. I can't see them anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Honey, maybe I will be able to find hummingbirds hum. Queen Bee, Jumbo Eagle. Ooh, what brings you here? It's very late. I'm so very sorry to disturb you in the middle of the night. But poor Hummingbird has lost her hum. But I don't know where it is, sweetie. I know, but I was wondering if you and your bees would be kind enough to give her a drop of your sweet honey. It may bring back her beautiful hum. What a clever idea. But I'm afraid all the bees are fast asleep now. Mm. 
Tomorrow will be just fine. We'd be delighted. Oh, and Queen, don't tell the other animals that I asked. Of course, dear. Now for Tickbird and Hen's eggs. Where can they be? Where can they be? Hmm. Of course, Crocodile. That naughty beast. There he is, fast asleep. And hen's eggs, I thought so. <laughs> hey, those are my eggs. Huh? No, they're not. They're hens. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. <laughs> Nothing in the trees. Nothing in the plains, Your Majesty. Nothing underground. Elephant? No. Tortoise? Mm -mm. Nothing, I'm afraid. Huh? It was Crocodile, Your Majesty. Oh. Crocodile stole hen's eggs. <laughs> he was near Mount Tinga Tinga, hiding behind a rock. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eagle. Asante. Always a pleasure to help another bird. No news of tick bird? Nothing in the trees. Nothing on the ground? We looked all over Tinga Tinga. <gasps> But what about the skies? I haven't checked the skies. <laughs> Tick Bird must be lost in the clouds. Now, where is she? I can't see her. Where's Eagle gone? Into the clouds, Elephant. Mm, remarkable bird. Tick Bird! Tick Bird! Hmm. Now, where is she? <gasps> Tickbird! Oh! Tickbird! Uh, Eagle, thank goodness you're here. I've been lost in this cloud for ages. Don't worry, Tickbird. I'm here to get you. Oh! oh <laughs> Welcome home, Tickbird. Thank you, Hippo. Eagle, most impressive. Now, who can find and return Hummingbird's hum? I'd be ever so grateful. Um. Your Majesty, may we give Hummingbird some of our sweet honey? It might help Hummingbird find her hum. By all means, Queen. Very good for the voice, sweetie. So sweet and smooth. Oh, but can you hum? <laughs> Bees found hummingbirds hum. <laughs> That's brilliant. Your Majesty, I knew it was our honey, but it was Eagle's idea. Really? Yes, but she didn't want anyone to know. Thank you, Queen. Asante. Wanyama, animals! I said I would give half my kingdom to the animal who succeeded in finding three things. Hen's eggs, little tick bird, and hummingbird's hum. I am delighted to tell you we have a winner! Ooh. Monkeys, drum roll please. <laughs> Here we go. And the winner is Eagle! <laughs> Couldn't possibly accept. Your eagle eyes found Mama Hen's eggs. Your great wings found Tickbird up in the clouds. And your mm. great kindness and wisdom found Hummingbird's hum. Mm. The sign of a true leader. Oh, my. From this day on, Eagle, you shall be ruler of the skies. With honor, Your Majesty. With honor. <laughs> That is why Eagle rules the skies. From that day on, Lion ruled over the land animals, and Eagle watched over the birds. <laughs> what a wonderful and happy day. <laughs> Time for the night lullaby, Your Majesty. Indeed, indeed. Birds. <laughs> and now Hummingbird. <laughs> and Hummingbird. 
bad humming. Well, that's a whole other story. Chesa, <laughs> Chesa, come on, dance. Imba, Imba, come on, sing. Shuka, shuka, shake it down. Ruka, ruka, jump around.